Glory, glory, hallelujah. We want to bless the name of the Lord for his faithfulness, for his love, for his righteousness, for all he's doing for us. And we thank him. Now, to the glory of God, we want to do a bit of series. And the series will be for about five days. And the topic is growing. Let us pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we know that your thoughts towards us are of peace and of good and without evil planning to give us our expected end. Daddy, we also desire that we move from where we used to be to where we should be at all points in time. Our prayer is that in this series you speak to us in Jesus' name. Amen. So friend, we'll do this recording for the week. I pray that the Lord will bless you. So the topic is growing and our text is taken from um, but, uh, Second Corinthians chapter three, verse seventeen and eighteen. I will read from the easy to read version. The Bible says, "The Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom." And our faces are not covered. Wonderful. We all show the Lord's glory, and we are being changed to be like Him. This change is in us, bring more and more glory which comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. So, few things are in that scripture. Number one thing is that God has a glory that he wants to share with us at his own uh, benevolence, not at our demanding, not at our, uh, uh, in any way, not because of what you have done, but because of him. So, and he wants to share it with us. And there are, as we relate with him, do his will, he, he gives us the glory from one level to another. That's why the Bible says that those that God who designate, he can know, those who can know, all those that he called, he can survive, those that he can fight, he can fight. So it's about him, rewarding every man. That's why the Bible says, your light arise and shine, your light has come. But what makes you really shine is that the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. So I need you also to understand that as a background to what we are talking about this week. Now, looking at Joseph's story, in Genesis chapter 39, reading from verse 4 to 6, we see a man that came into a house as a slave, moved from slave to someone that can be trusted, moved from just somebody that trusted to someone that can be asked to be in charge. He became the delegated leader the delegated authority of Potiphar's house now the bible says that the lord's favor was upon him that god's glory god's honor and the, the man joseph was also viable to carry the glory he was viable because he was doing the right thing and he got the favor of god and the master saw it and the master feel and because of these right things good things are happening to me so the master gave him more responsibilities and Joseph did not disrespect that responsibility. He did not fail in that trust. That is where most people fail because you have been trusted, you take things for granted, and you miss out. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 4, 1 and 2 that in stewardship, it is required that the man that is trusted be found faithful. Remember that the man be found faithful. God bless you. Be found faithful. That is the key word. Be fantastic. We'll see you.